All right, so are you ready for a uh, mailbag day two? Yeah. Okay, so next one's from Ramon Sanchez. Subject is, does AEW purposely bury queens? Good evening, fellas. Announcing two queen Amanada matches where she loses. Conan is a current booker and Disco is a former booker. Would you have built up this unknown queen before putting her in these long losing matches? Would you have changed her first name, especially when she's not booked to be a queen or even a winner? Also, what's up with Britt Baker? Where's she at? TK booking strikes again. Be safe and thanks for the entertainment. I don't know who he's talking about, Queen Amanada. Do you know who Queen Amanada is? Yeah, the black girl that goes out there with kind of like a tiara or something. So would you have built her up more instead of just having her go out and lose long matches? Well, built her up to what? Lose? <laughs> right. I mean, I'd, I'd have her like, you know, on, on um, what do you call this? Collision and rampage and, okay. and get a get a few victories and then challenge somebody. I would I would have two characters come out and stand on the stage like silently, just motionless, like like the Buckingham Palace guards do, and right. just stand there when the queen comes out. And she comes out like, you know, so the, the guards are just standing there. Okay. They, that's what I would do. Yo, what up? This is Conan, and I host Keeping It 100, my co-host, Disco Inferno, unfortunately. Well, I'd say you're my co-host. Listen, every Thursday here on Spreaker, we talk pro wrestling, sports, movies, music, TV, pop culture, and some politics. It's everything the rest of the pro wrestling podcasts are not. Tune in to hear myself, the superior one, educate and inform. Tune in to hear me bury Disco. That's very disrespectful. Join us every Thursday on Spreaker and keep it 100. Boom!